So the Soviets not doing as well along their German front. Getting Turkey involved kind of forced the Soviets to split up their divisions, and they're having success somewhat holding back the Germans, but obviously they're losing provinces uh, at a slow rate. So we're going to go up to speed 5 here just to see maybe if we can see some big uh, impacts. Right now we're looking as the Germans, we're seeing a lot of kind of negative conflicts going along uh, on this border. I mean, the Lithuanians are doing okay. More research. Uh, did they get that fifth research slot? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Research time has gone down a little bit, though. They were at 23% last time I checked. Uh, Turkey is having a, a good time. But yeah, we're at speed five. 100% um, generated. Oh my gosh. So the Germans have generated 230% alone to the, uh, to the world tension. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we are approaching 1941, Befriend Japan. Okay, so they just finished that focus uh, group, or focus idea. And Italy's losing a lot of territory in North Africa. So uh, this is the video where we might see the USA join in. This is around the time period that they joined in historically. So, um, assembly line production. We're probably going to pass the date here. So if the USA joins in, Oh man, I uh, I don't I don't know, I don't know how that's how that's gonna go anymore. What else is over here? You've got ten victory points here. Holy crap! They actually might not even have to push to Moscow. I don't I don't think they would necessarily have to push that deep into this territory. I mean, even just Riga. Well, actually, wait a second. Who's is, is Riga under control of the Soviets? Yeah, it should be. But no numbers popping up. I don't know. That's strange. I mean, there might be there might be too many units or the angle's kind of weird. Uh, but, but uh, oh, yeah. Also, how's Turkey doing? Hungary's accepted our offer. Okay, so Hungary's given a little bit of land. No attack from Greece just yet, which obviously Greece is going to be utilized as uh, the push from North Africa. So... Almost Spain has been almost kicked out completely of North Africa. So Spain's almost been completely kicked out, and now the focus will be from the British attacking uh, Italy, I'm guessing. They already grabbed back most of the Suez Canal. Yeah, so most of that has been taken back for the most part. And uh, what's your next one? Naval re uh, rearmament? Re uh, what about the Soviets? Women in aviation. All right, so... Uh, that is going to, yeah, that, I, I'm guessing that's going to give them more troops for aviation. That's a good focus group, uh, Stalin. That must have been a historical thing. I, I didn't, I didn't know about, uh, women in aviation in the Soviet Union. Had no idea. Let's go and check on the, the Japanese real quick. You can see that, you know, viewing as the Soviet Union, not doing too good uh, against their, uh, Turkish front. And the Japanese are just are just barely holding on. Not barely holding on. Actually, the Chinese might be barely holding on. There are efforts. There continue efforts to grind away and take southern China. But they got to get the capital. That's They absolutely need to get the capital. Let's go ahead and check on casualties. Almost 2 million casualties for China. Only half a million for Japan. So this is, I think, the focus of, of Japan has been... Maybe not to expand their territory, but just kill a bunch of Chinese troops. And uh, that's been pretty effective so far. Oh, the Siamese are involved in this war. Maybe they don't... They, they, but military access is not like a thing like in EU4 where you just get military access from anybody. Um, Siamese, Siamese can't do anything unless they actually get over towards Japanese lands. So that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, let's check on the German-Polish uh, window. Germans, the Germans still haven't lost a million men to this. Not yet, at least. They're approaching that. Hungary losing 100,000. How much have the British lost? British lost not that much at all. 300,000. Poland. I mean, I mean, compared to everybody else. I mean, I don't mean to sound so evil, but uh, compared to everybody else. I mean, because, like, look at this. Just wait. L l let me look at this right here. Let's look at the, uh, the Soviet-German border or, or war screen. 2.5 million for the Soviets. They've lost 2.5 million, almost. But so have the Germans. The Germans are just up there as well. They've lost a lot, a lot of troops as well. I wonder how Italy's doing. I can't imagine Italy having that much manpower. 
Um, they're at 1.17. I'm sure they don't have as much. They've got 24 eligible of non... I mean, that's, that's not to say that they can always get into that non-eligible population. Um, it's not always possible. It's, it's hard. You have to do it through policies and things like that. But, um, but it's just something to kind of keep in mind. Ooh. Italy. What is Italy doing? Or this actually might not be Italy. Wait a second. So what's Finland feeling about this whole thing? Finland doesn't like... They don't like Italy. But does Finland like Germany or something? Now, that would get really interesting. Oh, whoa. Okay, so the Finnish of Germany have a super negative opinion. Negative 400, 461. So maybe the German plan is just to invade Finland. Well, actually, we're not seeing it anymore. We only saw it when... Uh, uh oh, uh oh. The uh, the British have landed. The British have landed right north of Iberia, and I don't think there are many regiments here to 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 protect them. Uh, Italy also seeing we're seeing a lot of battles, kind of losing here on the Soviet front. Naval effort. Uh oh, this is D Day. This it looks like this might be D Day right here. Oh, well, I mean, they, they did get cut off. Let's see if they can open that back up. Boom, United States have joined the Allies. And this is it right here. Boom. United States have decided to, to join in to fight against Germany. Germany's done. Germany had a chance, I think. They had a chance, but yeah, I mean, it just ended up not, not going so well after they didn't eliminate. They needed to destroy the Soviets a lot quicker than they did. I think that this is now just going to be like a ticking time bomb. It's May 1942. Took the... United States, quite a long time to join in, though. Pretty long time to to join in. Which was kind of odd. I mean, the United States didn't need to join in until now, though. That's the whole thing. Let's see if they'll stop this D-Day invasion from the British. Okay, well, actually, I mean, they are starting to push pretty far forward north of the Black Sea. If the so... I mean... Uh, they're still pushing. I don't know. They're an 18% in favor of the defenders. Obviously, they need a lot more than that. I mean, not a lot more. They need about, geez, 35 more, something like that. Uh, oh, the oh my gosh. Okay, so they completely cut off this division, which means they're yep. Oh, they're all dead. They're all dead. So these, that, that's just a bunch of divisions that are going to die. Wow. All right. So that was a big move for the, uh, for the German divisions to kind of cut off the British. So this is, this is where the British are going to decide to attack from. They, they landed in this French city and this is it. But the French, the, 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 the front has began. Ooh, this is going to be also a pretty, pretty big death here. I'm thinking, so they're going to get crushed. I think they stopped this, like, D-Day number one. How's North Africa doing? North Africa's still holding up. Italy's still holding up barely. It's really starting to look like maybe the Germans... they Maybe they do have a chance here. I mean, the southern front, the southern part of this front is really pushing forward. By quite a bit. What about Turkey? Turkey's doing okay. They're moving up north. You know, they could probably keep this... Ooh, well, they don't want them to get this city, even though that's only one victory point. I bet you they're going to allow Turkey, or the Soviets are going to allow Turkey to push through probably up this way. Because they don't want to lose more victory points. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. June 9th. Oh, you boat you boat uh, effort. So now they're going to go after that naval part of their focus tree out there on the right. Has accepted our offer. Okay, so Spain just got a bunch of troops, or a bunch of territory. Uh-oh. Oh, and America's here. So America attacking Northern Iberia. America's attacking Northern Iberia. And the Germans are, are really, for the first time, really pushing the furthest they've had in the past into Soviet territory. Oh, yeah, Spain is going to fall. There's no way. Because Spain just not that powerful at this start. Even though the Germans are, are doing well okay, are here, they don't have anything... 
here to protect Spain. Yeah, they're just grabbing a whole ton of territory. Yeah, a, a ton of territory. Maybe losing a little bit of, of these battles up this way. Not sure how much Lithuania is really contributing. 8.15 million. Okay, so the Germans have really accessed, gotten to a point where they're, they're able to access a lot of their own manpower. How about Turkey? Turkey had a million. So they're mobilizing. Oh, man. And there goes Nationalist Spain. So Nationalist Spain is going to start to drop, I think. But it's still, I mean, out of all the allies to have lost, that's not that bad. I think, I still think, key component is going to be Greece. Boom, and there goes Spain. So this is going to be a very interesting uh, front that Italy and Germany is going to have to deal with. For sure, Italy is probably going to lose North Africa because they're going to be too focused, I think, on uh, protecting uh, any more push from the United Kingdom into France. Uh, let me go to Germany. They're so successful here, but I don't think they they have enough. Yeah, 18. They haven't really gotten any victory points at all. What's going on along this front? Is And is how much is Italy helping? Italy has plans. Oh, man. They're landing all over France now. Tons and tons of, of, uh, of air units kind of coming from the British Isles for support. August 1942. Yep, the Germans were not prepared for this. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, what, what's going on with uh, Japan? Japan's still fine, but uh, their friends are about to completely collapse back at home. Yep, oh yeah. Okay, so all of, Easter, or all of Western France has been taken back, I think. Most of the borders. And this is it. I mean, the USA got involved. Now the USA is just sending. They're just coming across. Yep, so the USA is just coming across. So this was just a, uh, a real brief... I, I just wanted to do kind of a quick AI only. Really want to jump into the a the World War start, though. Uh, we will definitely return to an AI only in Hearts of Iron 4. Um, however, it will be from the 1936 start, which is going to be much... It's going to produce much different results. Much more different results. Um... This is going to, you know, somewhat switch away from the norm, but not too drastically because they they just don't have as much time. They 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 were forced to go down a certain path historically in their focus groups and their technologies and things like that. Um, so the thirty six start should be much more, uh, much, much more different. Um, also, I, I probably will come back for one more video. I'm thinking one more video. North Africa is still there. Uh, it, I mean, because it's not like they have fallen just yet. I mean, France will be, France will be more than likely released. I'm thinking. Oh, and the USA has all these troops here along this border. Uh, that's the that's the key component there. Um, yeah. So there's no like end dates to uh, Hoi Four now. So you can pretty much, you can pretty much continue to play. I mean, there's you're not going to get increased technology or anything like that. Uh, however, Bulgaria's declared war on oh Romania so Bulgaria who never joined the uh, the axis and now they and they're joining the allies so just like that so that is going to leave a whole nother front that right there will be the finishing blow because now you've got Bulgaria Greece everything like that to get together they're going to merge those wars up and the axis will slowly begin to fall. Uh, I could continue to play this out, and we might eventually see uh, an allied Soviet war. Eventually, again, there's no exact end date to uh, to Hearts of Iron 4 at the moment. But you could just keep on playing. Like I said, there's just no extra technologies. You're not going to get to, like, computing or anything like that if you're used to Civ 5. Um, everyone will just have all of their focus groups and all the technology discovered. And there might be some wars if you wanted to... Uh, but, but, but we'll see. But we'll see. Uh, we might... Oh, my goodness. What just happened? Okay, so they just broke Romania. Romania just broke completely. Yeah, Romania just broke completely. The Germans are still trying to fight as best they can. Actually, the Germans are doing okay in the Western Front. We're now fighting on their side. Okay, so uh, the Germans decided to join in something with Japan. 
Oh, probably for the Chinese War. I'm guessing... No, still technically not. That's interesting. Well, something happened. I, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, if we check on the uh, current wars, though, this is probably going to drastically shift. Yeah, only 3% in favor of the defenders now for the Soviet-German War. 0% for the German-Polish. And uh, Japan's still winning that war with the Chinese, but not by much. And now this slow regain. Actually, you know, North Africa hasn't completely collapsed yet. Maybe that's where Italy will... Yeah, actually, I'm very shocked that Germany is holding back this incredibly enough. So Germany, yeah, so Germany is kind of holding this back and, and giving back land to Spain. I don't know how. This is the problem, though, Bulgaria. I don't know if they have troops here. They're at, let's see, we're still looking at uh, Japan. 7.4 million. Uh, they've got tons of factories, but the, a lot of those are going to be, they're going to lose a lot of that stuff. And uh, Germany probably has the biggest national unity at a 90, at 90%. Or it could be Japan, too. Let me check. No. Yeah, so Germany's got the biggest national uni unity, which means that you need to completely take, like, all of Germany. You need to get a lot of victory points if you want to defeat Germany. Yep, okay, and now the Soviets are starting to push back out here in the eastern border. So even though the, 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 the Nazis were... They prevailed in pushing out the UK, they're doing good in the West... They're losing so much progress that they made uh, against the Soviets. So that's uh, that's obviously an issue. Anyways, guys, we'll come back for another video. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do with this campaign, what we're going to do with this campaign, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.